Formatting in Word 2010 Formatting Introduction Formatting text means modifying text to make it better and more presentable. Formatting includes Changing font Applying bold, italic, underline Text alignment Line spacing Bulleted and numbered list, border and shading, drop cap and changing case, changing font face. Font face means the style of written text. To change the font face, select the text, then click the home tab and go to the font group. Click the drop down arrow button after the font box. A drop-down list of fonts will appear. Select a font of your choice. Your selected text will appear in selected font. Changing font color. The way the computer writes or the computer's handwriting is called font. To change the font color, first select the text you want to modify. Now click on the drop-down arrow next to the font color box on the home tab the font color menu appears you get a wide range of options move the mouse pointer to change the color like red color a live preview of the color will appear in the document click the font color you want to use the font color will change in the document if the requirement is not fulfilled, you can look for more options from More Colors option. Select More Colors at the bottom of the list. Select the font color from Standard or Custom color and click OK. Changing Font Size Font size is the size of text which will appear in the document. We can change the size of text as per our requirement. You will find font size option next to the font face. To change the font size, click the down arrow button after the font size box. A drop down list of sizes will appear. Select the font size of your choice. The text will appear in that size. Applying bold, italic and underline commands. We can apply bold face, italicize or underline our text for highlighting an important content and presenting it in a better style. The bold face command in MS Word is represented by the B button. Italics are represented by italicized I button. And underline is denoted by a U with a line under it. These buttons are located on top left of your word window under font category. To apply these commands, follow the steps. Select the text you want to modify. Click the bold italic or underline command in the font group on the home tab. You can see the changes as the selected text is bold faced italicized and underlined. The shortcut keys for these are bold by pressing Ctrl B, italicized by pressing Ctrl I, underlined text by pressing Ctrl U. Aligning text. When you write in your notebook, you leave some space on the left side of the page and then start writing. You usually have a line marking the space that must be left. This is called the page margin. Word document pages also have margins, although they are not visible. A page has four margins, top, bottom, right and left. These margins are marked on the page rulers. Aligning text between these margins is called text alignment. To place the text at different margins in the document, alignment is used. There are four types of text alignment in Word. Left alignment. 
when the text is aligned at the left margin, the first letters of all the lines will be starting at the left margin without leaving any space. Keyboard shortcut is Control L. Right alignment is similar to left alignment as the last letters of every line will be aligned towards the right margin. Keyboard shortcut is Control R. In center alignment, the text will be centrally aligned between both the margins. Keyboard shortcut is Control E. Justify is when the text is aligned both at left and right margins. Keyboard shortcut is Control J. Steps to align your text in different styles left, right, center and justify. Start with selecting the text you want to align. Then click the Home tab and go to the Paragraph group. Now select the alignment of your choice. The text will appear in that format. Line spacing. The amount of space between the lines and paragraphs is called line spacing. It also customizes the amount of space added before or after the space. You can change line spacing and paragraph spacing by using line spacing icon in paragraph group. Steps for increasing or decreasing line spacing. First, choose the Home tab. Next, place your cursor in front of the text you want to add space to. Then, click the Line Spacing button in the Paragraph group. A drop-down menu of options appears. Now, click 1.5 to add space in the paragraph. You will find a difference in your content with a spacing of 1.5 between the lines. Further, apply 2.0 option to observe the changes in your third paragraph. Bullets and numbering A large amount of information becomes boring and monotonous for the readers. To keep the concentration or point out the important content, bullets and numbers are used. Word gives you two list options, bulleted list and numbered list. Creating bulleted lists. Follow these steps to make a list. Select the text. Click on bullet list icon in the paragraph group. The selected text will be bulleted. Let us take an example to make a list. Open a new Word document and type a report on visit to the botanical garden. Use bullets and numbering in the report to give your document a professional look. In the second paragraph, you will find the names of trees. Now, this is written in normal order. Let us try out something interesting to attract the readers. Steps to be followed to write the names of trees in a bullet list form. Start by placing your cursor before the word banyan using the mouse or arrow keys. Now press enter to start a new line. Delete the comma after the word. Keep repeating the pressing enter and deleting comma steps. Place the names of the trees on different lines. Next, select the names of the trees and go to the Home tab. Click on the arrow next to Bullet List icon in the Paragraph group of Home tab to open the Bullet Library. Select the Flower Bullet to create a bulleted list. You can also choose any bullet of the available bullets from the list that appears. The selected text that is name of trees will become bulleted. Creating numbered list. Numbered list is used when the sequence of items is important. To create a numbered list in the report, follow these steps. Type in new information on separate lines. You can use names of your teachers. Next, select the sentences and click on the arrow next to numbering icon 
in the paragraph group of home tab. This will open the numbering library. Select the 1, 2, 3 list of numbering from the drop down list. It will be inserted in your text. You can also choose any available list from the menu. Borders and shading. Borders and shading are the formatting tools used for enhancing text, paragraphs and table cells. Borders are the margins on the four sides of a paragraph. The artistic design you use as background for a paragraph is shading. To add border to your text, select the text you want to enhance with borders, then click the Home tab. Click on drop down arrow next to the borders and shading button on the right corner to the paragraph group. A list appears with various options. Choose the borders and shading option. A pop-up window appears with varieties of border patterns. Choose a style of border and click OK. The selected border pattern will be applied to your text, paragraph or table. To add shading to your text, click the Shading tab in the Border and Shading dialog box. Click on the Fill option. Select any color that you want to apply to your text. Apply any other options you want, such as styles, etc. You can check your text in the Preview box. Click OK. Shadow is applied on the selected text. Drop Cap a drop cap command enables you to exaggerate the first letter for an eye-catching appearance. The steps to apply drop cap on the selected text are Select the text and click on the drop cap option from the text group of insert tab. A menu with drop cap styles appears. Choose the dropped option from the menu that appears.